Ayahuasca is a indigenous medicine from the upper Amazon that's been in use by the Amazonians for many thousands of years, perhaps tens of thousands of years. And um, it's essentially basically a combination of two plants, one a vine called Banisteriopsis copy, which is the ayahuasca, also called ayahuasca, and then another admixture plant, which is generally chakruna, or a plant called chakrapanga. And uh, when they're mixed together, when they're cooked together for many days, a uh, synergy occurs that's really powerful that creates a profoundly healing medicine that works not only on the physical body but primarily on the spiritual, emotional, and psychic parts of us, the parts of us that carry what the Hindus call sanskaras or wounds upon our spirit that um, unless they're worked out never really heal. And these impressions, these wounds, are considered by many to be the cause of disease. They're considered by many to be the cause of illnesses in that for a person to become ill, they have to have a fertile field for illness. And certainly in our modern world, there's many, many, many reasons for illness. There's environmental, there's the food the so-called food that most of us eat, there's the stress of our life, there's the toxic chemicals we're exposed to, there's a seemingly continually um, continual reduction in genetic viability, uh, there's all of the hosts of antibiotic resistant bacteria we're exposed to and plagues and diseases from other lands that would normally stay just within a small population that because of world travel now spread out to the entire globe. So we have all of these and there's radiation and you know, there's so many reasons but in a, a question that people can ask themselves is if you have two people exposed to the same pathogenic factor why would one become ill and the other not become ill? And you'll see this over and over again. There's the one person in the office who never gets sick when everybody else in the office is coming down with the flu. There's the family with one person who is fine when everybody else suffer, is suffering environmental illness. So why does one person have strength, or more, one or more of course, when other people don't? Why does one person or more not get sick when other people do? And that's because they're either genetically or because of their life habits healthier. Their immune system is stronger, their body's stronger. And they maybe have less emotional scars than the people that easily get sick all the time. So ayahuasca, you know, originally was used as a tool to allow hunters to become more perceptive. And in the strange magical realm of the upper Amazon. It was a method of fighting what they call brujeria or witchcraft uh, because in the upper Amazon as a scientifically according to our Western science unsophisticated people they assumed that all disease came from the spirit world and I think there's definitely something to be said for that if you look at it in this deep emotional context of illness. So, and they were master, they were in, in many cases still are master pharmacists, master pharmacologists, master pharmacognostic, no, that's not the right word, but they're master able to intuit and have studied for tens of thousands of years the plants there. So they live in the world's largest pharmacy and they have access to plants that would make any of us almost gasp and wonder at what they can do. So ayahuasca came out of that tradition. 
out of that culture. And now it's, in the last 20 or 30 years, it's really begun to spread out into the Western world, into the Northern world, really.